Hello and welcome to Tea Tuesday. I'm Lisa Ann Spencer and thank you for stopping by. This is actually my first Tea Tuesday hashtag video and so for those of you who are new to my channel um, through the hashtag Tea Tuesday, welcome and for my other subscribers, welcome back. If you're interested in listening to me talk about tea and one of the teas that I make, then stay tuned. All right, so I have here my teapot and it is warm because I had it um, filled with hot tap water because you don't wanna put boiling water into a cold teapot. I have my loose leaf tea that I'm going to be using today. This is called Mountain Gold. It is a rooibos, which is not actually a tea. Um, so this is more of an herbal. Um, it has orange peel, cinnamon, and clove, and it is very good. So my pot makes about five cups, and it's a heaping teaspoon per cup, so I'm just gonna do about two level tablespoons. And then I'm just gonna pour my hot water in. Put the lid on and let this steep for about five minutes. I can see my clock across from me. I'll keep an eye on that. And meanwhile, I'll just tell you a little bit about this particular tea set. And you can see behind me, I have a few others that I have collected over the years. Now, I personally am not a collector of things, but this is an exception because these belong to family members, so they have special meaning to me and to our family. So this particular tea set, here is the original piece, which is my husband's great-grandmother's sugar bowl. The pattern is called Homer Laughlin. That's the maker, and the pattern name is Priscilla, and the style is called Republic. So let me hold it up, and you can see the shape is this octagon shape, so it's very unique. There is a Priscilla Homer Laughlin that is smooth, not the Republic. And the same thing with the cups. I'm not sure if you can see that, but they have that octagon shape around the bottom. So the sugar bowl came to my husband about 20 something years ago. And as I was researching to find out more about the pattern, what the age of the sugar bowl might be, and by the way, it's from the 1940s, so someone must have gifted it to her late in her life. Um, but anyway, I don't know if she had the complete set. Um, all we know is that the sugar bowl was a, what, what came to us, and it has a tiny little chip on it. Um, my husband's mother and grandmother said they remember it always being on the table and filled with sugar for their coffee. So when I saw that um, these were still available, like on eBay or replacements.com where people um, were getting rid of them that didn't want them any longer, I was able to pick up the other pieces and make a complete tea set. So that's what I have here today. Um, I have these little small, not dinner plates, but we called a salad plate, and I have my jam and bread and my daily square of chocolate. I have the creamer and it is filled with heavy cream because that's what I like in my tea. I showed you the cup already and I don't use the sugar bowl because I don't take sugar in my tea. I take honey. So I brought along some honey here and also <clears throat> a tea strainer. Now here's a really pretty one that my husband got me for Christmas many years ago. And then here is a practical one. I really prefer the practical one. Um, this one tends to get stopped up and overflow. Right, so what I will do is go ahead and put my honey in my cup. And I only use just a little. I'm actually not gonna measure it out, but it's gonna be about half a teaspoon. 
I'm going to lay my strainer over my cup and carefully pour the tea through the strainer. Leave a little room for cream. Give it a stir and cream. Really, I like cream and everything. Give it a stir again. And it's going to have to cool for a bit because it's really hot. All right, so while I'm here with you today, I thought that I would talk a little bit about um, what I'm doing this week. Um, I know a lot of you ladies, I've been watching Tea Tuesday, and uh, some of you talk about what you read. Um, the month of August for me has been uh, reading the book of Proverbs. I was invited to a Facebook group that I belong to, a women's Bible study, and since August has 31 days, Proverbs has 31 chapters, we were asked to post a commentary every day through the month. So I have been a student of the book of Proverbs for over 15 years. I love it, I read it daily, and I have written uh, other commentaries and I have actually made some YouTube videos on Proverbs. If you're interested in those, you can check out my playlist. But one of the things that I wanted to talk about today is this um, book. It's called the 1718 Series. This is just one of many. This one says Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians. And let me turn to the back. You can see that it's just a blank journal. And I'll show you in the front where I have started and I write in pencil. You see that? And what you do is you just make your own copy of the books of the Bible. You can do the entire Bible. This was gifted to me by a friend. Um, and as I said, it's called the 1718 series. And what that is based on is Deuteronomy chapter 17, verse 18. And if you want to go take a look at that, what you'll see is when a king was appointed in Israel, he was to make himself a personal copy of the law. That would be Genesis through um, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Make a copy of the law for himself. So in doing so, he would become very familiar with the law. Good Bible study tip is if you, you know, would like to study a book but you don't know where to start, one of the easiest things to do, it's a labor intensive, but it's just copy it word for word from your Bible into a notebook. And this 1718 series makes it a lot easier and then it gives you prompts um, for committing verses to memory. So I just thought I would share that with you today over tea. Mm, that's really, really good. So next week for Tea Tuesday, and I probably won't do this every Tuesday, uh, maybe every other Tuesday, but what I'd like to do is take you through each of my tea sets in different varieties of tea that our family enjoys and uh, just share a little bit of that history with you and maybe try to share a Bible study tip with you each week. So thanks for tuning in today and I'll see you soon.